everybody, my name is Kat. If you are new to the Cat Cave, welcome. How are ya? All right, so this is gonna be a story time today. So I do delivery, I do pick up for my groceries, especially with COVID, but also more so because of being disabled. It makes it easier. I don't have to get out and about. I don't have to get my wheelchair in and out of the car or my crutches or anything like that. I go to Walmart or Myers. I haven't done Myers pickup or uh, delivery yet, but I usually go there for some things because they have a really big gluten-free section. Um, but so um, I was going to do that and I put in for their new delivery because I'd only done it like twice before. Um, and I really just wanted to see if they could get it right the second. Yeah, so they didn't get it right. So I had to do a little bit of extra work, which is totally okay. But I was feeling really lazy that day. I'm pretty sure I got over a migraine earlier that morning. And I really didn't want to have to do anything extra. So what happened was, is... The people that ordered these groceries are very different from what me and my husband order as groceries. Anyway, what we usually order for groceries is mostly gluten-free or dairy-free, egg-free, and that's for me. My husband can have pretty much everything. Um, um, these people were very different from us. They ordered a bunch of junk food, and I mean like soda, what? like unhealthy chips, uh, just snacky stuff, orange juice. They had two... Um, they, they had one air filter on their order, but they brought us two. Quack. And so I remember like opening the door because they come and set it by the back door. And I open the door and I'm like, I don't think I ordered that. So I closed the door and I call them and I said, what should I do? Should I bring it inside? Like, should I, should I? know the person's name so we can go drop it off to them like you know what's up and they're like oh no ma'am you just keep it we're gonna send you a new order um it's gonna be okay so i got really excited so i texted my best friend and i was like we got a bunch of free groceries a lot of stuff that i cannot eat and she was like dude that's so cool and i'm like i sent her a picture of these vaporizers and i'm like and these people were only supposed to get one we got two! Two! That's amazing! So yeah, then Walmart, um, they brought all of our stuff um, that we had originally ordered to us and all of their stuff they originally ordered to them. They probably only brought them like one vaporizer too because that was all that was on their order. So we got two, but since because of COVID and it's already at our place of residence, we got to keep it. So I was like, uh, do I have to pay for it? You know, all that kind of stuff. They said no. Uh, they told us just to keep it, that it was their mess up. And I was like, I was really excited because you know how I don't like green and orange popsicles? These people got new popsicles and they got the good kind, okay? They got, they got the actual like popsicle brand. They didn't just get the little ones in the plastic thingies like I do. As I was going through these, I noticed there were little jokes on them. Now the ones that I have in this bucket, I don't know what the jokes are because I didn't read them because the first few jokes were all about elevators, people. It was the same joke over and over again. So I just decided to stop reading them. Well, I was like looking at one and I finally got one that was different. It was like this morning I was like, we should do a video. So I've got five of them here. Some of them I got all the garbage. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I washed my hands, duh. But I'm going to tell you some really bad jokes. So are you ready? Okay. So joke one. I don't know what this is going to say. I'm really nervous. This one must have been a weird popsicle. Why are math textbooks always stressed? They deal with so many problems. Oh. Bruh. Let's see if we got a better one for number two. Probably. This one probably is going to be just that. Why should be the same joke? Oh, it's not the same joke. This is amazing. 
thing. Why do basketball players wear bibs? As far as I know, basketball players wear like those sport jersey things. I don't really know what they're called. Are they called bibs? I don't know. But the joke punchline is they dribble a lot. Not very good. Maybe it made you laugh. If you know what this means, just put it down in the comments on your way to subscribe. I don't know. What does a boat do when it's sick? It goes to the dock. Ew, mm. I get this one because it's a sick joke. But boats don't get sick. They break down. They smoke. All sorts of things. But they go to the dock like the doctor. But it's spelled D-O-C-K. What has a bottom at the top? It says a leg. Huh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, I get it because another word for your butt is your bottom. So it's your butt. They're talking about your butt, your cute little tush. Okay. I mean, it's not, that's not too bad. That one's actually pretty smart. So good, good job, Popsicle Company. And last one, last but not least, this one says, what kind of paper do pilots write on? Fly paper. Leave. You suck. Now, I'm not telling you that this doesn't make sense. It's maybe a little too much, but. That's all I've got for you guys today. So. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Please give it a subscribe button, just like that. Or, you know, gently click it. Um, and I will see you in the next video. I may or may not post next week because I am going to be doing a lot of testing and a lot of doctor's visits and we're gonna be out of state. Anyway, like I said, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.